Welcome back to my ANSYS tutorial. In this video, I will be showing you how to solve fixed beam subjected to forcing function that is a harmonic analysis for a cantilever beam. Let us look into the aim of the problem. Conduct a harmonic force response test by applying a cyclic load at the end of the beam. The frequency of the load will be varied from 1 to 100 Hz. Modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA, Poisson's ratio is 0.3. Density is 7800 kg per meter cube. Now let us solve this using ANSYS. Go to mechanical APDL workbench. Select preferences, structural, H method, click OK. Preprocessor, element type, add, click on add. Beam, 2 node 188, click OK. Now close this. Now go to material properties. Material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic. Give the Young's modulus as 2 exponential 11 and Poisson's ratio as 0 0.3 and click OK. Sorry, you have to give the density. Uh, don't forget it. Give the density 7800 kg per meter cube and click OK. Now close this. Now go to sections, beam, common section, give the value 0.1 into 0.1. Click OK. Now go to modeling, create, key point, inactive CS. First create the first key point at the origin, just simply click apply. It will create the key point at the origin itself. Now, second key point is at a distance of 1 meter. Click type 1 and click OK. And uh, go to lines, select lines, select straight line here. From first key point to select second key point, click OK now. Now, the modeling part is done. Go to machine, size controls, manual size, lines, picket lines. Select this line and click OK here and give the number of element division as 50. Now click OK. Go to Mesh tool. Mesh. Select this line and click OK. Now go for Solution. Analysis type. New Analysis. Harmonic. Okay. Now go for define loads. Here, remember this you should apply the loads in the solution part, not in the preprocessor part. Go to define loads, apply structural displacement on key point. Select this first key point and click OK. Go to all DOF and click OK now. It is fixed in all degrees of freedom. Now go for force on key point, select the second key point. Okay, and uh, force is acting in the y direction, so select Fy here, and the magnitude is 100 Newton, but it is acting in a negative y direction, so give the minus value sign and click OK. Now load is applied, go to load step and load step options. Time or frequency, frequency and substeps. Frequency range is 1 to 100 and number of substeps is 100. Here select stepped and click OK. Now solve this, go to solve, current LS, click OK. Now the solution is done. Here before yeah, before uh, the problems, we have selected general post processor, but here you should select time history post processor. Now click on this add data. Here select a DOF solution, 
Y component of displacement and click OK. First select the first key point and click OK here. Now go for add data again and again select Y component of displacement. Now scroll this down or bring this tab down and uh, select the second key point and click OK. Here click on this graph data icon. Graph will be plotted like this. Now close this. Go for plot control. Style. Graphs. Modify axis. Here search for Y axis scale. In this drop down menu select logarithmic in Y axis scale and click OK. Now go to plot and click on replot. The graph will be replotted. So this is the harmonic response for the cantilever B. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, please leave the comment. Thank you for watching. Thank you.